Hey everyone, I'm continuing my People Magazine's 100 Most Beautiful Inspired Looks here. And this one is going to uh, be a look inspired by Julianne Huff. She was featured in um, the 100 Most Beautiful issue, just a really small picture. And then she was most recently on the cover of Shape Magazine. And so I thought I would kind of use that. I could get a really good look at how her makeup is here. And I thought I would use that to kind of play off of for this look. So it's all about thick lashes, a little different eyeshadow technique than I've used before which I think you're going to enjoy and just a really flawless face so if you want to see how it all comes together keep on watching. Alright to start out Julianne's look um, overall she's got a really flawless face but the coverage really doesn't look too heavy and it sort of has a little bit of a dewy finish so my sort of formula to achieve all that is um, I used my Maybelline uh, let me grab it out here my mineral power foundation um, my shade is medium one and this really has, it's, it's sort of a light coverage liquid foundation in my opinion. So I thought that would work well for this look. And then I used my Kat Von D tattoo concealer around my eyes because I noticed her face, obviously it just has that flawless look to it and that means under eye circles you can't see them at all if they're there so I used that um, and then I went all over my face with my Mary Kate loose powder in beige one just to set that look and um, now I'm gonna take you through some of the uh, face color products um, she doesn't have really um, an overpowering amount of color on her face that she actually keeps it really natural in terms of bronzer but I can kind of tell that sort of around her her, her temples and, and cheeks and around this area there's definitely been some uh, bronzing done there so I'm going to use my MAC bronzing powder in golden which is kind of a subtle bronzing shade and it does have just a little bit of um, pearlescent glow to it but it's not overly overly sparkly so I'm just going to use my uh, big fluffy kabuki brush and get it in there and I'm going to go go over here sort of right along my hairline and kind of focusing it in on my temples so get it right in here and right in there so we're, we're nicely blended and then I'm just kind of going around down the side here. I guess it's making that three motion you hear people talk about a lot where you come down you hit right under the cheekbone and then you come right down under the jaw. So just do that on both sides. Now for a little added contouring, I'm going to use my uh, CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Golden Pink. Just get a little bit of that on your blush brush and just focus it in right here. Give a little definition to the cheeks. Um, it's in terms of blush, whatever she has on is really, really natural. And she has a nice sort of, you know, peachy, goldeny glow to her skin. So I thought the Rimmel Blush in Peach would be ideal here. It's one of the most um, subtle blushes that I have. So I'm going to just put a little bit of that on the apples of my cheeks here. And Julianne really just has that nice summery glow. I think this look is so appropriate for the summertime. So I want to try to give off a little bit of that glow. She's really just got this nice um, glow. Just the center of her face is just highlighted really well, I feel like. So I'm going to use my Jane Blush Sticks in Shimmering Peach. Um, this is from their, like, it's the Jane, like, organic makeup line that they have. And... I'm just going to dot a little bit of that along the top of my cheek here, just like so, and a little bit on my chin, down my nose, and just a little on my forehead. And then I'm just going to go over that with my Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips in Waikiki Glow, which is a peach bronzer. Just kind of go for the, these lightest colors here at the top and dust over that. And you'll really get that kind of nice summery glow that she has. Really center it on like the center of the face. That's kind of where you want that light to hit. All right, guys, it's time to start working on Julianne's eye look. And for her eyes, um, we're gonna, you're going to notice me using some different techniques than I usually use. Her eye appears to be very flat, like in terms of her lower lid, and then her upper lid is really, you know, kind of like, it's like kind of a D laid on its back, okay, flat here and then curved there. There's not a lot of like a cat eyed effect or anything like that. It's more just all kept like right within this area. It really 
really follows the natural shape of her eyes. So I kind of tried to duplicate that a little bit with this look. So I'm going to start out by, I used some Rubenesque Paint Pot all over my lid just to kind of work as a primer and really grab the shadow. And then I'm grabbing my uh, Maybelline Quad in... Um, I'm not seeing what the name of this one is. Oh, Chai Latte. And so go ahead and uh, just get some neutrally colors like this. Anything really will work. And I'm going to grab my eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to use the lightest shade here that actually is labeled Brow Bone. And I'm going to apply that pretty much all over my lid. And just to kind of get that nice nice uh, light base color to work with here and this is a pretty sheer color anyway but it looks pretty on top of the uh, Rubenesque paint pot which is kind of a peachy gold shade okay so just get that all over and then like I said um, this the following steps are going to be really easy because we're just following the natural sort of dome shape of our eye here so I'm going to take this uh, shade that says outer corner it's a, a deep matte brown and get some of that on just a medium crease brush and basically we're going to get it in there and we're going to start at the middle and we're just following the natural shape of the crease we're not doing an outer V we're just following that domed effect of the eye not giving really much more emphasis to one part of it than the other just following the whole way so blend that out as you feel you uh, need to. And then we're going to top it off with this pretty uh, shimmery shade that says Crease. It's kind of like a coppery gold shimmer. And I'm just going to kind of go a little above what I just did and apply that. And it's just going to give us a little added warmth there. So again, you're going to find this, this really easy. And I love, I mean, I, I really like her eye look just as much as I like a lot of people that have more of the cat eyed effect. Um, but it is a little different technique than I'm used to. So again, just uh, using that uh, that kind of shimmery shade to warm things up a little bit. And then I'm going to take my um, Sephora rounded crease brush, pick up a little bit of that light shade that we put all over our lid, and just use it as a subtle highlight here, following the shape of our eyebrow. Okay. Then we are going to do um, our liner, and basically the liner look is pretty, th um, pretty dark all the way across the uh, top lash line, and then just mainly on the bottom, just on the outside. So for that, I'm going to grab my Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Eyeliner in Ultra Black. And I like this because it has a little blending tip. We want to really, um, she has some really nice thick lashes all the way across. So what we want to do is also add to that effect by giving um, a, a sort of thick smudged out line along our lashes to give e even more of the illusion of thick eyelashes. So basically, um, line however you feel most comfortable, but this does not have to be a perfect line because we are going to go in and do some smudging but just keep it, don't get it too thick on the inner part here try to stay kind of close to the lash line and then as you go on out just a nice black line do, we're not winging it up, we are just staying with our natural shape of our eye here Okay, just like so. And then I'm going to use my little smudge tip that's conveniently uh, on the end here. And just use this, if you didn't get end up getting you know as close to your lash line as you wanted to, a smudge tip is a nice way to kind of really work that in. And then you know you can kind of blend it up a little bit and wind up with a little thicker line than what you started with without using any more product at all. Okay, just like that, and while we've got this uh, little liner tool in our hands, I'm going to go ahead and take the bottom part, and this is where you really want to think about if you're going for the same sort of eye shape that she has, it's kind of flat across the bottom, so since my eyes are a little bit, they want to be a little bit rounder and come up a little bit here, I am kind of bringing this liner down just a bit. You see what I'm doing here? 
I'm kind of filling in a little space here so my eye looks a little more flat across the bottom. Then as far as the rest of the way in, there's really hardly anything going on from what I can tell in the picture. I'm just going to take that pretty uh, shade that was shimmery that said crease on it in our quad and just uh, kind of carry that on in. It really won't do anything in terms of really defining that much, but it will just kind of give it, it, it give a little bit of a pretty sparkle if anybody's looking at you that close up. Okay, and then next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to apply a coat of this L'Oreal, um, what was this called, Extra Volume Collagen Mascara. And then I'm going to put on some of my Revlon Fantasy Lengths Lashes in Flirty. And the reason why I chose these is because they're not really like a whole lot thicker on the outside than the inside. She has really consistently thick lashes from inside to out. So we kind of want to keep that same look. So that's why I'm using these uh, this sort of uh, eyelash here and I also do apply, I've been asked this before, I do apply a coat of mascara then after I put the lashes on. Sometimes when I come back and, and finish the video like they're still actually drying so I haven't necessarily done that every time but but I do advise you know another coat of mascara to help blend and um, Anyway, I'm going to go through those steps, and then I'll join you with the finish. All right, guys, that does it for the Julianne Huff inspired makeup look. It's all about the flawless face with that summery glow using highlighters and um, some really subtle blush uh, tones to keep the look natural, but also really flawless. In terms of the eyes, it's all about the thick lashes across the top and really just following the natural shape of your eye. That's why I think a lot of you are going to really like this look, because it shows that you don't have to do the outer V every time to get a pretty eye look. Um, on the lips she's got just a really light sort of subtle pink lip gloss on so I used um, this Smashbox shade here which the sticker is actually gone from it but you can see it's just like a pretty medium pink shade with a little bit of shimmer and uh, that's pretty standard I think for what she looks like quite often so here is the picture of Julianne I mean as you can see all about the lashes really across the top and just that beautiful flawless face so um, thank you guys so much for tuning in for this tutorial and have a a great day.